This is a piano, made with Arduino Uno, and some components. I am not pressing it. This aluminum foil is not a button. I am just touching it. It does not complete the circuit if I press it. Then what is it? Let's see the concept of it. There is a capacitive sensor library, that turns two or more Arduino pins, into a capacitive sensor, which can sense the electrical capacitance of the human body. The sensor setup requires a high value resistor, and a piece of aluminum foil on end. The signal is sent from pin 4, of the board and received, at pin 10. So, the time constant or the time taken for the signal to travel from 4 to 10 is calculated. By the formula, R, into, C, or RC, time constant. Whenever a person touches the aluminium foil, the capacitance changes. So does the time constant. This is how the touch of a human is detected. This is the capacitive sensor library. It is compatible with all the Arduino boards. This is the detailed documentation for the same library. It includes all the details for its application, working principles, the explanation for different methods of the library, what resistor is to be chosen, and a demo sketch or code. This circuit can be used as a touch sensor. It can be attached to the knob, or handle of the door, to detect the touch of the burglar, then trigger the alarm. Also, it can be used to make a paper-thin piano, which will have the thickness, of cardboard. It won't have any keys, to be pressed. But touch sensors. Also, it can be foldable, so as to carry it anywhere. A flexible, computer keyboard can be made out of it. It has unlimited applications. This is the circuit schematic. This is the Arduino Uno board. It is connected to this piezoelectric buzzer, via wires and a breadboard. These are the touch sensing points. If a person touches it then, the microcontroller will detect it. These are the 10 kilo ohm resistors, connected between the microcontroller and the touch point. And this is an NPN transistor, that will act as a switch for the buzzer, or speaker. And here we have the 5 volts power supply. All these things are connected with the help of this breadboard. Let's start the simulation, and check. Yes, it is generating some tone, so our circuit is working fine. Now let's build it in the real world. Now, let's connect the required components. As per the schematics, the Arduino Uno, prototyping board. It is the main component, and the brain of the project. Here we have the breadboard, to hold all the components together, without the need to solder them. Then we have 7, 10 kilo ohm resistors. We will connect them as per the schematic. This is an NPN transistor, it will be used for switching the speaker. And, here is the speaker, it will be used to play the tones. This is the main component of this project. It has a few aluminum strips, glued to a cardboard strip. It will act as a touch sensor and alligator clips, to make connections, with the foil strips. Let's connect these components together. First, we will take the cardboard strip, and connect the alligator clips to its aluminum touch points. The other end of the alligator clip will be inserted into the breadboard, which will, later be connected to the resistor. We will repeat this process, six more times, to create seven touch points, for the seven tones of the piano. Then we will connect all the resistors on the breadboard, with the touch sensors. And then, we connected the speaker, with the Arduino Uno, microcontroller board, via the wires and the breadboard. All the components are now connected, and the setup is ready to be tested. Let's test the speaker, by playing an automatic tone. So, our speaker is working fine, now we will test the touch sensors. Let's try touching different touch points. Yes, everything is working fine. Now we can learn to play some tunes. But first, we will prepare for an emergency tone. SOS in Morse code. It consists of three dots, three dashes, and again three dots. Now, we will play some actual tunes on it. 
The easiest is the Happy Birthday to You tune. We will try to play it. Somehow, we were able to learn and play the tune. The earlier version had only three aluminium strips, it was the first prototype. Once it was working, then we added more strips. Now let's see, the issues that occurred, while building it. When we were not playing any tune, the speaker was generating a lot of white noise. The volume of sound was not constant, due to loose connections. Playing this happy birthday tune required a lot of practice, as we don't have any background experience in music. This circuit can be used as a touch sensor. It can be attached to the knob, or handle of the door, to detect the touch of the burglar. Then trigger the alarm. Also, it can be used to make a paper-thin piano, which will have the thickness, of cardboard. It won't have any keys, to be pressed. But touch sensors. Also, it can be foldable, so as to carry it anywhere. A flexible, computer keyboard can be made out of it. It has unlimited applications. This was a very interesting project and we learned a lot, while making it. We don't even know, whether it is a piano, or a harmonium. But we enjoyed it a lot, while playing tunes on it. That's all for now. See you again with more robotic technologies. Robotics every day.